Um, Dev Speaker or Snake Eyes? Snake Eyes is kind of low. Nazov. I played Nazov earlier. He's okay-ish, but... I want to see Dev Speaker and how good he is. 16 armor cat for faster quest. It's never cat here. I feel like uh, the Quilbor guy is way better and has one less armor. So still pretty fast quest and a really good hero. Quilbor were OP last uh, patch. Now they should still be OP. By the way, Elementals and Quilbor are in. So if you get a quest reward that plays around spells... You can just stay on Tavern free and play Paints, Magic, and Labor and go super crazy. And just run away with lobbies. And there's a few quest rewards around spells. They're also more likely to show up. So it's exactly what you want, right? What about Azerite? Azerite is okay, but the Quillboard stuff is more powerful in my opinion. The, the downside of Azerite is that it's a 4-drop, so it takes a while for you to get going. At this pace, you're sure to take the game. Okay, if someone who fishes is a fisherman, why am I not called a wisherman? Hmm? I like Take care of that one, and it'll take you far. I'm keeping two gems. Maybe I get the quest that is like, give me your stats. It's better to do hero power than to do the bookies effect. Bookie effect is only good when you have two of them. No, this, is necessary. this shop sucks, we might go to free. Ghastly Mask with Murkai. Oh, the, the spell is so good. Oh, but it, it's when you cost three or more. Mm. Nine battle cries. Small, but terrible. Uh, terrible in the good sense. Your wish is this one's command. I skip the coin. Nine is a big number, but the fact that you can play Quillbog or Murlocs depending on what the game gives you, I think is okay. I'm not gonna stay on Tavern 2 and do it, I'll level up. If you wanna play Quillbog, you need a guy that buffs the attack. Chat is right and our deal is left. And you are very funny. And probably I'll do around like an 8 hour stream tomorrow and I'll try Friday to stream more. Like 10 12 hours. Three other people just wish they were as strong as you. Yeah, we're losing now, but if I get a gem buffer, it's gonna be crazy. I need a lot of things though. I need battle cries. So you want the perfect card. I'm this sorry, is really good with the gem buffer. I don't like the paints module here. 
We're not playing a Pain's Major comp. That's the guy, the Battlecry guy. Watch out! Can you cut this? And then more on this is gonna be the nuts. But now you just need to stay on free and find the guy that buffs. Without the guy that buffs, we are still not super strong. So normally I like hero powering over the bookie, but when you have two bookies, obviously it's better. Four gems is better than two. Even if you get them next turn rather than now. Quick maths. Quite the trendsetter, aren't we? I want what this guy has. Torn Collar is weird. Watch out! There's Ruben here! I'm in the tracks! I feel like it makes sense to put all the stats on the bookie. Torn Collar as a 2-drop is weird. 4 battle cries is difficult. But I still don't want to go to 4 just to have an easier time to do the battle cries. Moon Jazzer. Ah! Lil Bro is pretty big. How the fuck am I getting so out-tempoed? I mean, this guy is stubborn free. I guess he also under leveled like me. Did I fight? I need some time. Hand me the the dead guy fight. Piper. Okay, Piper is so good. I don't think you want another Piper. Your birthday present, but I'll hold the gold. Gotta keep this place running. That one sure put in a hard day's work. Watch out! There's Ruben here. Who did this? I want to get Murkai ASAP. If I get Murkai, maybe I would want another Piper too. But I, I, I'm prioritizing different units right now. Okay, check this. It's not about Second Piper you. does it's about increase the speed that I scale at, but still. Mm. Can I level and buy two Battlecries next turn, or is that too complicated? Ah! This is so difficult. No, I love a good underdog story. I'm confused. Why do you only buff one minion? Because once it's so big... So... Health gets better the more attack you have. So it makes sense to put a buff that is predominantly health-based on your biggest minion. Does that make sense? Well, at least we didn't take a billion damage. Please, that guy fight me. I deserve it. That guy fight me. 
Bro! Should be illegal to not get a dead guy fight in this spot. Kakari works, right? I low-key want to sell Torn Collar for two gems. This is Operation Just Don't Die. LOL. And yeah, maybe second Piper wouldn't be that bad with how much we're doing here. This comp is piping hot. What do we want here? What's a good end of turn effect? Charlie, of course, but I can't get Charlie here. Bongo is useless. We need to go gag. We need to go gag. We need to go gag. That guy fight? Dude, this is fucking rigged! How come I didn't get that guy fight three times in a row? Are you fucking kidding me? Hello? Yeah, Bannerboard is Charlie at home. So I think we still take it. Tear this place apart. You're pressing the fucking button like there is no tomorrow. Press it. Trying to figure out my position in one sec. Press it. Beautiful. Probably something like this is best. Hi, Radu. Not even a single win today. I got one win, but it didn't count on the session recap. Second game of the day, you can check the VOD if you don't believe me. I played Max. And also, I got a second place that's not on the session recap. Basically, if a game starts disconnecting late game because of end of turn effects, um, it's not going to count on the recap. Maybe I should play more mechs to win more. Huh? Great advice. Yeah, yeah. Do you think we survive here? We should. I don't know. The guy has zero triples. My board is stacked. By the way, you want Murkai to activate before Banner Boar. So that the Banner Boar buffs accordingly. It might be a bug. I didn't get dead guy fight for five turns as well, and then I became the dead guy. Lolul. Plus 7-7. 
Oh Jesus. I hope the I hope it's bugged in Fire Sun and I'm not actually 100 percent dead. But he has like a billion summons and Slama and a lot of stats. Dude, the Scarab spell should be illegal when you already have this quest. It's not normal that you pay two gold and you get this strong. There's a chance that I don't die, right? Oh my god. Come on, minions. Take some trades. Firestone is bugged with this quest and with the other quest that summons with Avenge. The developer told me that he's working on it. <clears throat> I think the bug is that it's considered Avenge 1 or something, rather than Avenge 4 or Avenge 7. It's first day of the patch, guys. The app is very functional outside of some percentage errors. I don't want to go Chef's Choice. I really just need Rugag. There he is. One more roll. Okay. Who's the cut? Do you ever cut the Piper? If you cut Banner, you miss three gems, three gems. You miss six gems per turn. The crystals speak to me. We have enough attack, it's fine. Do we lose to poison or do we beat poison? I don't want to cut a buki. I want to triple the buki, not cut it. Triple buki discovers a six though, because we want Chugly. We surely want Charlie. We're getting like a gazillion gems per turn. This spot is so good. Maybe I should just level. If I don't do anything anyways, I might as well just level, right? Probably should have leveled. What are you looking for? Jesus. Now, uh, I was looking for triple on Buki and second Rugag. That's it. But I don't know if it's correct to look for two minions. Going to six can give you Charlie as well. And then you're looking for three minions. But yeah, I should probably level. I don't want to like... I, I didn't like buying this telescope because if you miss, you're stuck with one bad quillbug in your hand.
And yeah, it would be Charlie over Banner Boar. Murkai is so funny here. We're getting so big every single turn, it's hilarious. We are only going to lose if somebody goes Venom. Venom! Imagine if we had a cleave here. Second go Gog and triple Buki would be like super insane. Hello. I like your arms. Yes. Woo! Yes, baby. We could play the Charlie. This board is so funny. Now we just want second go Gog, and I think you can cut Jazza or Murkai. Probably Murkai out. And then you put Gog in the middle of the banner board. Uh, banner board in the middle of the Rugag. Whew. It's getting hot in here. This comp is funny. And we were doing really poorly, like at some point in the game I was like worried I'm gonna die. I'm a bit worried about the Murloc guy. Why did Murlocs have to be in this lobby? I'm worried about Murlocs and I'm worried about the guy with the tumbling disaster. But we're getting so many stats per turn, we're basically like farming, we're printing stats. So like I'm still not super worried. I'm just a little worried. Your attack is too low. Yes, my dude, 200 attack is very low. With a thousand health. Thank you for your wonderful observation. I got lucky to not die, or did he get lucky to win the flip? So you want the perfect card? I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to be more specific. I want a second Gog. but I'll hold the gold. Gotta keep this place running. Okay. I can cut the Jazzer. I'm thinking, guys. Do we cut our scaling? Just go for the money. I'll give you a good night. How does the how good is the bongo? We already have generation. He's buffing himself, but I, I don't like it. Piper? No, I don't like Piper either. Divine Shield guy is good. I like the Divine Shield guy. And next turn we cut Morlock for another Divine Shield. You cannot roll here, guys. You need one gold for the Buki. I know it's hard to activate the Phaerix, but I'm mostly buying it because he's a divine. Sh he's a divine shield, not necessarily for his stats. One queen 
shouldn't beat us. Like, ever. Cute board, otherwise. Killed my six. Is it still 29? Oh my god, it's not because he killed my six. So lucky. I wouldn't want to get on your bad side. Quillbor x Quillbor, nice meta. Quillbor x Quillbor sounds like a science fiction anime. How good is the horse? Horse can be good. It's good against bullshit, right? I don't want to buff the horse much. It's almost 4,000. Wow. <laughs> Get Jazza, you need more health. Why not level to 6? Because I don't have a reason to level to 6. I was looking for a divine shield or for a minion that summons minions. And I got the horse. So, I'm good. We don't need no bullshit. Quite the center, we? Why not hold the horse? I want to buff it, I just don't want to buff it too much. I just started playing, can I get the tip? Just keep playing. <laughs> In the beginning, you're going to automatically learn stuff. Don't overcomplicate things, it's an enjoyable game. Just enjoy playing it, lol. Don't let anyone stop you from reaching for the stop. Right now we also don't have a meta game, so there's nothing to really follow. Do you need a new battlegrounds pass today? No. It's uh, mid season. So if you have a pass, it's still gonna last you two months. Seek value. In before Matador. I'm okay against Matador. Uh, uh, uh. Don't you want to taunt the horse? Nah, he's naturally gonna die at some point. No need to force it. No need to force it. At this pace, you're sure to take the game. Horse going crazy. We're still not killing the crap in the back. Well, it died itself.
funny. Do I need to make changes here, or are we good? We can cut the Buki, and cut the Banner Boar, and go to Gog and Charlie, but we're playing a 4-4 over 100, 1000. The crystals. House rules, first place is okay. Okay. Charlie just wasn't worth it. Too many changes for one turn. But second Rogag I like because he has a divine shield. He summons minions without Venom. So they're pretty easy kills. Should be fine. Oh, stats win games. <laughs> 